both of these containers are roughly the same volume, meaning they take up the same amount of space. This container of fiber weighs approximately 150 pounds, while this container weighs 511 pounds. These two containers of fiber, while taking up the same amount of space, are holding different amounts of fiber in them. This grocery sized plastic bag weighs 1 pound and 15 ounces. If we compress it, it still weighs 1 pound and 15 ounces. This larger bag weighs 8 pounds and 14 ounces. If you compress it, it still weighs 8 pounds and 14 ounces. We're talking about this versus that. You can apply the same principles to any size or grade of bag that you may be using. Just remember to leave space at the top of the bag, use your body to squeeze air out, loosen and tighten your grip on the top of the bag as you use your body to maneuver air pockets out of the bag. Look for veins or creases as a sign that you have moved most of the air out of the bag. Spin your bag shut. And don't forget to tie a knot. There are many ways to condense fiber, and this is just one very simple way to do it. But the point of doing all this at all is so that you can fit more fiber into smaller boxes, which should help you with shipping costs, whether you send us your fiber through the mail or from an ETH collection point. Consider these ideas the next time you prepare to send us your raw fiber. Thanks for your time.